Hi everyone, my name is Roger. Welcome to my channel. And uh, I want to make sure that people smile and I want to bring magic into their lives. But I, the best way to do that is to have a, a proper and professional magician with us. And we have one this morning. We are all lucky, aren't we? We are for a nice treat. And his name is David. And what's your surname? Burgess. Burgess, yeah. And you can see, you can see his picture on the on the magazine at the back here. Yeah. So obviously, you. Are, so before we go into some tricks, so, so briefly, can you tell us how you've been inspired? How did it happen? Yeah. How did you start this magic thing? Because uh, sometimes we ask ourselves. Yeah, so. How can you, we start? You, what do we learn? How do we go into it? Because it's quite a close, uh, it's a quite a close, uh, it's difficult to get in, isn't it? If you're outside, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called, that's called, that's called, that's called the magic circle, which, which a lot of people get, um, get, get, um, like cross, cross with when, when they say, oh, I need to get in the magic circle. So, yeah, so I, so my name's David Burgess, as you said, and, um, I've been doing magic since I was six years of age, but I decided to go professionally uh, about three years ago. And what got me into magic was I got a call Daniel set when I was um, six from my auntie, um, and it was on Christmas. And then I just, it, like most people, when they get a magic set, most of us have had a magic set in our pasts. Um, we play with it for a bit, and then we just either continue with it. But what I decided to do was keep me hand into the magic so then i joined like a little it was like a junior mahatma magic circle and then i went into um joining the liverpool magic circle and um, the actual magic circle the the main one which everybody knows is it based in london mm -hmm. and um you don't have to be in the magic circle to learn magic it's just it's more of a i feel it's more of a um a notoriety thing because you don't but you can learn magic if you go on the websites, which, you know, if you find out what they are, you can buy the magic tricks yourself um, and, and, and practice them because there's DVDs and there's all kinds of other things out there. And, um, yeah, so that's how I got into magic. I actually met him when I was on a, I went on a program called Channel 4's Faking It. Oh, yes. so, you, so, you, so you met Paul Daniel, is what I just, just, yeah. Yeah, I met, I met him, I met him in person and, um, it was um it was on this program and I was I was one of the actual proper magicians, the professional magicians who was up against the faker. And the faker was actually on Britain's Got Talent. He actually decided to to um skip his um science and um, he was a scientist and he decided to pack that in and just continued with the career of uh, magic and he's and he's doing very well with it. He's actually he does um, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival every year. He's got like a big show and he's doing really well. No, that's fantastic, really. So the um, yeah, I, I remember I had um, he passed away now, but uh, when he was ninety one. But when you were a magician as well, and uh, he used to do tricks, uh, going around in hospitals and stuff like that, uh, and then he used mm. to do some fantastic tricks. And uh, I think he explained one trick to me, and and then I just couldn't see it if he had not explained to me. It was very simple to do something with a bottle. And, uh, and and the string and I can't remember exactly, uh, but it's uh, is, it, is it where is it where is it where, is it where you put the put the string in the bottle? Yeah, yeah. And when you take when you take the bottle, hold, you hold the bottle up, it floats. Yeah, that's right. Something like that. Yeah, and that. And yeah. So 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 that one that one's in one of the tricks. So it's it's basically it's got a ball in the bottle. So what happens is if you imagine um, this, my fingers is being the 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 head of the bottle. Um, I haven't got anything to use. I I've got a bit of blue tack here. And if you imagine that, that that blue tack is like a little, I don't know if you see that, okay? But that's like yeah. a little ball. Yeah. So then what you do is you take the ball goes the ball goes into the neck of the bottle. So when you when you put the string in, it'll come out because the ball's at the bottom of the bottle. But then what you do is when you put the string in and, yeah. and you tip the bottle upside down, the the actual um the actual ball will pinch against the string. Oh so yeah. So you can let go. And the friction will hold the bottle there. That's how that one's done, and that's in most of the um, the little magic sets which you get nowadays as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, and I remember you explained uh, a few tricks, but there is one trick uh, 
we couldn't work it out. That he wouldn't explain that one because that was his that was his invention, one of his uh, creation of of tricks. So he wouldn't. Uh, right, right. Yeah, he wouldn't. And then uh, he did a trick where he cut his partner in two or something with these boxes and stuff like that. And uh, uh, it, it looked like it was the case, but the, <laughs> obviously it wasn't because she was still alive. She died now. She, <laughs> she, uh, she uh, but that was a very, very long time ago. And then, uh, and then my dad said, please don't ask, don't ask um, Henriette to tell you because she's got to keep it secret. Don't please. He said that to me because I wanted to know <laughs> how that worked. <laughs> uh, and then, mm. okay, I won't ask. Mm. Okay, I promise I won't ask. Yeah, so I put it at the back of my mind, yeah, you know, to, to see how they... <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, I, I, okay. I don't play. <laughs> yeah, so it, yeah, because I wanted to know. Yeah. Because it was so real, you know, she was still alive, obviously. She was not good, but the but you know when they move the middle bit of the of the uh, what do you call it of that box then yeah it looks like she was she was cutting two or three pieces but obviously she wasn't yeah and then and then obviously he pulled that back or something she comes out for life from the other box or something like that yeah I can't remember the exact bit but, <laughs> but I, I wanted to know but well, I did I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, but I think that's what keeps us interested is the curiosity. You have to have some element in uh, of uh, curiosity in it. Yeah, it, it, it is. And as, and as I said, if anybody's ever thinking of they want to learn magic tricks, as, as you know, um, you're going to put it in the link in there. But I've set up a magic school where I'm teaching online. So I've got like three different um, levels at the moment um, where the entry level is £47, where you get 50 magic tricks. Yeah. And then there's like there's like more bespoke ones where you get access to. I'm going to setting up a closed Facebook group. Where oh, I'll be going yes. live in there and doing tips and tricks, and that's a that's a payment one. And then I've got another one where you can obviously be, um, if you like, not mentored by me per se, but you get you get like Zoom calls with me. So I'll give you the tricks. You get access to the course, and I'll train you on how to. If you if you're struggling with anything, you get you get Zoom calls with me. For for a certain for a certain um, that's like more yeah. package. But yeah, so if anybody's ever you know interested into into doing that or they want to just learn it, because the reason I like doing magic is because I like to give the give the experience of joy and happiness, and that's why I set up the magic school because I want to give everybody else the ability to get the confidence and to be able to approach any situation and and, and just you know have that confidence then. This will set you up for not just in doing magic, but in general, because you'll be able to just approach anybody and say, hi, would you like to see a trick? Because so, it gives you that life skill. So in your mind, there is a bit more than just doing the magic trick and be good at it. It's something to do with confidence and be, be a, is that what you mean? Yeah, so so when I so when I was when I was younger, I was bullied in school and stuff like that. So when I when I learned magic. It, it, it made it just give me that little bit more of extra confidence because I was able to number one it, it stemmed the bullying a little bit because I'd show them a trick and they'd be like wow fascinated but also it then taught me that you can kind of like um, give people that joy and that 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 distraction because obviously it's like look at this so they're distracted for the minute so it's like wow and, and then it gives you that little extra confidence boost when you when you get in the reaction they're like wow that's amazing. And then obviously when you get more and more better by practice and practicing, then you can go on to the more complex and more complicated um, moves and stuff. But but it's all it's all very simple um, to do magic tricks, but they look amazing. I'll demonstrate a, a few a bit later on today after we've had the conversation. And um, the, the, the course, you don't have to have any magic skill whatsoever to do any of the tricks. Yeah. I've made it. So I've, I've made it that way, so it's not really... There are a few, not complicated ones, but there are a few ones which are a little bit knacky, which you'll need practice on. But the majority of them are fairly straightforward. You can pick them up and, and I'd say in less than a couple of days. Right, that's some the thing, yeah. Are you up some to... Of them, sorry. As I said, some of them you'll be able to, you'll be able to do, do in second. Yeah, and so what, uh, I'll, um, so what's the name of your website? So, guys, you can see the, the website then going past. Uh, so, so yeah, so it's it's it's, day, it's DB DB Magician. So www.db Magician and it's Magic School, which is on the top part of the website. So if you go on so, there. Uh, because uh, yeah. for the yeah. 
for the potential viewers out there and for those who want to bring some magic in their own life, you can look at his website, www.dbmagician.co.uk. DB stands for David Burgess. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I was born ready, Roger. A fantastic. That's great. Excellent. Yeah. So I'll um, I'll just I'll just move my camera down. The reason I wore a wore a wore a white shirt is so you can see this okay. Okay. And once I'm trying to open the lights a little bit. Got a little bit more lighting. There we go. So uh, can you see that okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, I can see that. So, yeah. so I've got two elastic bands wrapped around my fingers there. Yeah. And, I, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this elastic band and watch I'm just gonna push it one, two, three, and make it link. So it's <laughs> link yeah. right through. The elastic band. Yeah. As you can see there, now watch, I'm going to make it unlink one, two, and then it unlinks, and then literally I can hand these out to a spectator. Right, and that's good. It's probably very um, simple, but that's very good, that, because I did that, that. That is, that is on, the, on the course. So that, if you want to learn that that's one. Good, that's good, that's very good. That's it. I'll, well, I'll have a look at your course because I've got plenty of elastic bands here. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. And it, this, this is why I've done it, because it's super, it's super simple. I made it. I made it simple. So, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. So the, this is a, this is scissors because this is what I've got to hand. But yeah. usually you you use a ring for this. And um, so what? But well, my wedding ring won't come off. So what you do is you just I want you to focus on the scissors going up the elastic band and watch them start to move. You ready? Watch. Yeah. You start to move up. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> oh, that's very good. I like it. Oh, that's good. And again, that one is is a super simple trick. Yeah, and then and then uh, because I remember when uh, when Mike uh, Michel in France, his name was he, he explained me one trick or two, and and then I couldn't believe it how simple it was, and then yeah, well, 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 those two those two there which have which have shown you yeah, are super simple. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my background, so now I'm just moving my move my um, my screen down so you can see my desk. But okay. Turn my screen off one second. So, yeah, yeah. Now I can see your desk. Absolutely. Okay. So, so this one, um, this is an observation test. Now, so I've got one, two, three, four sevens, as you can see there. If I click my fingers, one of the sevens will turn itself face up. Now you can see that's clearly the seven of hearts. If I click my fingers again, the seven of hearts jumps back, and then this time. It's the seven of clubs. Now, note the colour of the back is blue. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Click my fingers again, then the seven of clubs to the back, and then this time it's the seven of spades. Now, do you remember the colour of the backs? Oh, I... Uh, what what colour were they? Black, was it? It was blue. Oh, it was blue, I mean. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a clue, Roger. Do you remember the colour of the backs? Yeah, Roger, blue. You blue. Yeah. yeah, well, I would have said blue, but it's actually, they're actually red with a big um, cross <laughs> on the back of them. You see, you weren't, you weren't really paying that much attention, were you? <laughs> now, do you know how this trick's done? I have no idea. <laughs> it's all done with mirrors. That's how this trick's done. It's all done with mirrors. Oh, right. Okay. And we don't, um, yeah, and that's very interesting, yeah. Because it is, it's, uh, it looks so... And it's great because it's a great way to entertain people. Yeah. Uh, are you okay to do that trick with the, if it's okay with you, obviously, I've got to ask you, you're the one doing the tricks, uh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> you know, with the, the one you did last week or the week before, no, no, not yesterday, obviously, because you had another meeting, but the week before when, when we had the two and the seven, you remember? And when oh, the color, the color change one. Yeah. When you did round and then, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. One, then, one second. I'll see, if, yeah. I'll see if I've got that one. I'll see if I've got that to hand. One second. I just have to find the. Uh... I found it very good. I found that one very good, to be honest. But they, they all. Very good. Got, that's my that's my favourite go-to um, magic trick. One second. I just need to find the deck of cards. It will be in here somewhere because I had it before. I just I just tidied my office up. Here we go. I don't believe this is it. Something I like the background where you are. Yeah, I like the bar. I think the background is great. Yeah. Yeah. So that. So I. I do that because the the background which you've got isn't. It's just that which is which isn't really nothing nice to look at. And this is this is what this is what I've um, this is what I've done in my career. So I went to Formula One last year and performed out there. Um, which was sorry, not last year, the year before. 
um, got flown out to Abu Dhabi to perform for Formula One for three days. That was amazing. And I, I, I yeah. And I've appeared on the front cover of Switch On to Business magazine. So I was at an event and they, they wrote an article about me. And then they said, oh, come to the, come to the magazine launch. And we've got a surprise for you. And I was like, okay. And I only had like a one page, um, I say only, I said it was amazing. And I had a one page, um, um, if you like, interview. And they were looking at uh, having a new um, picture because they used to have pictures of buildings and stuff on, on the front cover of the magazine. Yes. They, they didn't tell me that they were going to stick my picture on. And so, um, and so that's what the surprise was. And when I was there, I was on the front cover of it and I was like, wow. Yeah, because, yeah, that's fantastic. That must have been a great feeling. That I can see the name of some celebrities at the back. Uh, Caroline or Caroline Smith, 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 Claire. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was good. But that, that that's like goes around. So that, it's, I mean, I don't think I don't think the magazine's running anymore. But Lynn and Jackie um, were the were the um, co-owners of it, mm-hmm. and it was um, and I'm still in touch with them, and it's amazing. I was just like, and I came about that because I went to a networking event. And I was I was all networked out because I went to a few more and I wasn't going to go, believe it or not. And then something said to me, no, just go because you, you don't know who you're going to meet there. And I met them. And imagine if I hadn't gone, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have that. As no, a, as no absolutely. Sometimes you have to do, yeah. And that's why, and that's why you're probably seeing, Roger, if, you, if anybody follows me on my Facebook page, which is um, David Burgess, magician, I'm sure Roger will share all the links to my contacts. But if you want to follow me on there, you get um, I've been going in the sea recently, every every day, um, for for four a.m. at four, half four in the morning, and I go in the swim in the sea. Oh for yeah, about, for about ten minutes, just wake you up and get your cardiovascular system going. But the, when I first went, um, it's I was like fearful because I thought, oh, what if the sharks or what if there's what if there's jellyfish or what if there's fish in there which which bite me or what if it stab me or what if I eat something and get a cramp? And this is what we do. We we, we spend all our uh, time worrying about what, what could happen when really we should just act on it. And because 99.9 times out of 10 fear is stands for false experiences appearing real. Yeah, and well, that false experience appearing real, you're all right. Because they just create, yeah, I get you create it all in your own head. So I've like, now I get into the habit loop, like this morning, I was out there and it was raining and it was, the, the, the waves were quite big and I was just, and I was like looking at it and I thought, I can't be bothered. But then I just told myself, no, there's nothing to be scared of. Just go and do it. You do it every day. It's the same temperature. It's just a little bit choppy. So, so I went out you, and uh, doing it. Yeah. So where do you live? Mami, I, well, I, I, live I live in, I live in Liverpool um, near, near a nice, near Crosby Beach. Oh yeah, and so it's not far for you to go there. No, it's about a five-minute drive, and I take oh, the dog. Okay. From, yeah. I take the dog for a walk, so the dog comes with me. Um, just sits on the sits on the side. He's not. He, he doesn't come in the sea. He's not. He's not that silly. <laughs> no, he, just, he just sits there and watches me, and, and and then we go for a walk after. Get yeah, dry. Walk after. Right. But it's dead nice because literally nobody's nobody's around. Nobody's up at no. that time. No. So it's just like it's just yeah, like yeah. Be, yeah, but you actually. So I'll show you. I've got, I've got, I've got the uh, deck now, so I'll show you this one. So yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah, show you this one. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, um, yeah, the one when that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so don't ruin it for everyone. Are you ready? So this is the, uh, this is the trick which Roger, Roger loves. So if you, so um, take just uh, take tell me when to stop, Roger. Stop that. Okay, which one do you want? This one or this one? Yeah, uh, uh, this one that's in your left, left, uh, left. So this one here, which I'm shaking now. Yeah, yes. Okay, so that card is the six, six eight of clubs. Now, I don't usually see what this card is when I perform this oh, live. I don't have okay. to. I should have shut up, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's because I can see it on the screen. I'm just saying, usually in performance, I don't know what this is, but because obviously we're doing it via, oh, via um, yeah. Zoom, I can see that. But So yeah. then that's the, that's the um, eight of clubs. So if I place the eight on top there, and then I take the rest of the deck and just place them on top, now watch this. If I push my finger down and click my fingers, one of the cards will now turn itself into a different colour. One card and one card only should have changed colour. One card has changed. It's actually changed to red. What was the card? It was the Eight of Clubs, wasn't it, Roger? Black, yeah. Yeah, the Eight of Clubs. So if that was that would be impressive if that was now the red backed yeah. Eight of Clubs, considering it was blue. 
and there is the red back eight of clubs. Now watch if I take the eight and I'm going to place it there and I'm going to leave that in full view. Can you shout stop for me whenever you want? Just say stop. Stop. Okay, we're going to go with that one. Oops, sorry. Two of hearts. Yeah. And I take the deck, place it on top again. I'm going to push my finger down and watch. I'm going to one card and one card only. Should have changed colour again now. One card and one card only. One card and one card only. Oh, no. Can you see a card that's changed colour anywhere? No. There's only that one there, which was the Ace of Clubs. Let's just have a look. And let's just what? see. That is now changed. Two or two. Two or two. Let's go that. I like this one. <laughs> Whoa. And that. And that is... And that's another simple one as well. But as I say, these these are all the tricks. So this those card those last two card tricks you won't learn on the on the um, the course. But if you go onto the um, upgrade it, I'll be teaching that one when I'm when I'm live on the Facebook page. Oh yeah. So what's your yeah? What's your Facebook page? Well, well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be setting up a, I'm gonna be setting up one. So oh, well, I'm going to do one. Which yeah. is like for, for specifically my Facebook page is David Bear, just magician. If you want to follow me, but I'm gonna be setting up a specific one for my my online. Um, community so when, when everybody gets together and there's going to be all ages on there there's going to be obviously rules of of um, engagement and stuff um, but it's aimed, it's aimed really for anybody who wants to learn magic or anybody even if somebody just wants to know the secrets and hasn't got no inkling in, in, in doing the magic that's okay as well you know some people just like to be spectators but what, what I've designed the course for is so it just in, gives people that that um, confidence to go out and just do anything really because it gives you the ability to communicate number one and perform so when you're going into like any situation then you, you've got the confidence to be able to say well i go out i can show you this quick trick da, 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 and then bamboozle people and then when you get reactions you start to then slowly build your confidence because you you know actually this is, this is easy and this is this, this is the reaction that you're getting yes don't be i find it very fascinating to be honest yeah and then uh but I remember that uh, guy, yeah, he was doing a lot of stuff. And so, yeah, as I said, yeah. I've... Well, well I'll, see, I'll see you on the course, Roger. You can, you can, uh, you can learn some, uh, some, of the, some, of the, uh, some of the stuff. Yeah, I could do. I'll have to really think about that one. But that, that would be interesting, yeah, because uh, it's, it's nice to bring some magic into people's life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Some joy yeah, and some smile and stuff like that. Yeah, no, sad. so that's nothing that's great. Yeah. So... Um, okay, so guys, uh, if you like this kind of video, if you want to know more about East Magic, look at the website address going below. And uh, you like this kind of video, just like it and subscribe to it. Thank you very much. See you later. Thanks for having me, Roger. Have a lovely day.